Yeah, I think we kind of already know how I feel about Echelon. Hey guys, we're back with another video, and um, I had a thought before starting this recording, and this may be taking the action of busting that to a level deeper than it ever really had to be, but there's a lot of people that kind of like twist busting a nut and calling it like ejaculation is murder. It's like protesters and shit trying to get people to stop busting nuts because they think it's like a homemade abortion or some shit, whatever the fuck. This may be getting a little bit too political, but you know, fuck it, I had a thought. And I'm gonna say it, but there's like a lot of guys who make jokes about it saying like, oh damn, I wonder how many fucking doctors I flushed down the toilet and shit. Like, I'm, I must be a fucking serial killer. You know, they're just making fun of the fucking people that are calling that shit murder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of go along with this, you know, train of thought these guys are having. But yeah, if I were to take this seriously and guys are saying, damn, think about how many future doctors I've murdered and just flushed on the toilet. Honestly, I think the number's a lot smaller than people may think because when it comes to actually raising a kid... To be successful and like do shit. Oh fuck! I could have done something there. Oh, and there was another guy. Fuck. Sadness. But yeah, to actually raise someone to be that successful and become a doctor. Like obviously there are kids that come from the hood, like with literally all odds against them, and they become doctors and shit. But the majority of children need like a decent upbringing to have a successful career. They have to have an education and shit. So if you're thinking about how many doctors you flushed on the toilet, do you think a teenage guy who's immature enough to make fun of people that are protesting against ejaculation, do you think they're mature enough to actually raise a fucking doctor? I, I doubt it. I highly doubt it. So honestly, the number of doctors these kids have probably flushed on the toilet is close to zero. Obviously, there's always that lucky one in a million like that comes out of these fucking conditions, dog shit conditions, and becomes like doctors, lawyers, engineers, etc. Like insane jobs, but... But most of them need a halfway decent upbringing that a fucking immature ass teenage guy couldn't provide to get these crazy ass jobs. So uh, yeah, that's my thesis statement on uh, guys busting nuts. This video started off way too fucking aggressive. The beauty of making cut commentaries is that you really don't need transitions. I mean, you know, cool if you have them and all, but you really don't need them. Like I can go from talking to whatever the fuck I just said to talking about fucking biochemistry out of nowhere. And literally just a cut from one speech to another. It's insane. I just realized this is just a regular cut comp. That there is nothing special about this video. What the fuck am I gonna make the thumbnail? Dude, I was binge watching a bunch of Jeb's old videos. Uh, I watched a lot of the uh, BO4 videos. In the beginning of all these videos, I got the same ad that just pissed me. It tilted me off the face of the earth, to be honest. This ad had the most cookie cutter strategy to get people to click on their shit. Like, literally ever. It was so annoying, bro. Like, I want ads to just be original, but this shit was just... They'll hit you with, like, a random fact about their product, and then say, like, nonchalantly, Oh, no, you can click off, though. It's like one of those ads that kind of, like, say some shit like, Oh, this is 30 seconds, and it's gonna improve your life, you're gonna skip it in 5 seconds? Okay, go ahead. Shit like that. But this ad was, like, for, like, I think, like, some reading thing online, like... This extension helps people with ADHD save 10 hours in their day. But no, go ahead, skip it. Don't fucking test me. I will skip it. Don't tell me what to fucking skip or not, bro. Like, I don't think you realize that y whatever you want to happen is not going to get more people to click on your shit. People that are interested in your product are going to click on it, but the people that are not are just simply not. Don't try to get people that don't want to click on it to click on it. You know how fast I fucking skipped that video? Milliseconds, bro. As soon as the fucking five seconds counted down, as soon as it said skip ad, I skipped it immediately hate that shit. It's the same thing as like comedy skits that have like laughing face emojis all around them. I already made a video on this, but it's just don't tell me what to find funny and don't tell me what to skip. I'm going to skip it. Wasn't there a movie theater in this map? Hold on. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I hate myself. Oh my god, it spawns me all the way. Wait, is this a movie theater? Swear. It looks like one. Oh shit, wait. Oh, it's a hotel. Shark jumper? What are you? What the fuck? Skis? Wait, hello? Is this like a surfing thing or a ski thing? In Miami? Come on, bro. Next to the beach? Why the fuck do you? Why is he ski jumping in Miami? Movie theaters have to be like the worst places to go for dates. You know, like romantic dates. I mean, at least the first ones, you know, like that's when you're getting to know the person. But if you and your partner just like going to movie theaters, you know, you do you. Like, I ain't fucking throwing shade on that. Like, if it's a hobby, fuck it, go ahead. 
no judgment here, but like for the first dates, that's when you're getting to know the person. You want to like connect with them on the first date so that they go on more dates with them and eventually go to a movie theater together. But just for the first dates, it's like the worst place to go. Like if you honestly go to a movie theater for like your first date, you might as well go to the fucking park and watch Anal Gapers 3 on both of your phones separately with headphones on. Like there's no fucking point at all whatsoever. It's literally pointless. But yeah, honestly, I'd probably also go the movie route just to avoid any like social interaction. Even though I'm literally going on a date with a person, you know, which is it's a lot easier for me. Just me and whoever I'm having a date with go watch like Star Trek 17 or some shit. And I'll make sure that we sit like two seats apart. And like in the seat between us, there's gonna be like the most fat dyslexic Star Wars fan who just couldn't read the difference between Trek and War, so he just bought the first ticket he saw anyways. Just getting pissed off that he accidentally got the wrong movie, but you know, he's kind of cheap too, so he's just watching it anyway because he paid for it. Like he doesn't want to let the money go to waste. Honestly, he sounds as cheap as me. Yeah, I'm definitely going on a fucking first date at a movie theater. There's no way. I've already planned it all through. Make sure we sit two seats apart. I'll buy her like the regular like snacks and shit, but just really just avoid her at all costs after that. Like I'll buy her like a drink and she'll say like thank you and I'll just be like, oh, you're welcome. And then I just like not talk to her for the rest of the year. But yeah, in all seriousness, guys, just go to like dinner or something or like an amusement park. Even an amusement park is kind of like, you know, too crowded and you can't really like get another person there. That's more of like a second, third date kind of thing, but... Honestly, just go to like dinner or something. Or like Netflix and don't chill, just Netflix. That's the same thing as a movie theater. Something really hot would be just like inviting somebody to your house and then making them dinner there. Like some homemade shit. And like make sure you make the meal like three times that week too, just to like practice. Like make sure when you make it for them, it's fucking insane. That's like your fourth revision. Yeah, this lobby is kind of turning into a sweat fest. So that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the decks appreciated. And uh, yeah, Miss Rockets. Peace.